Grand Risings, everybody. Well, it's a Grand Risings for me. I don't know when you may be watching this video, but um, I'm here today, as you can see by the title of the video, to talk about tips on how to go out into the world being a black man, woman, a uh, black or brown man, a woman. Um, you know, this is honestly tips that anyone can use, of course, but I'm talking to my brown and black skin fellow brothers and sisters, okay? tips that I feel are very important and can change your life drastically. I do feel that way. So, so let's get to it. Um, I wrote down notes or oh, that because of course with everything going on, I just felt the utmost need to uh, speak on not, not the current issues that are happening because we all know what's happening you know it's not you have to be pretty you have to be living under a rock <laughs> to not be knowing what's going on we have to be ignorant to be uh, to be ignoring what's going on or acting like it, nothing's happening so we know what's going on it's no need for me to state it uh i'm just trying to speak on these tips that's all so number one um, these aren't in order either i just wrote them down um you could put them in the order that you feel is best for you okay so number one i'd say is to be honest with yourself about your how you're feeling when you wake up um, it's okay to not be okay that day. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to feel all your emotions. The trick is what comes about from feeling those emotions. What you do with those emotions. You know, there are productive things to do and there are destructive things that you can do. Okay? So that's number one, is to be honest with yourself about how you feel when you wake up, okay? Um, number two, I'd state that, and look, now I'm trying to put it in my order and everything, but make a conscious effort to wake up one hour earlier than what you normally do to meditate, uh, perform yoga, work out, talk to yourself like just make the F just make a conscious intention to wake up one hour earlier you sh it's really important that you uh, wake up earlier than what you need to like what you need to do to get your day started anyway you know get yourself together have your time to really do whatever will make your make your day flow smoother you know, you don't want to, when you think about it, think about it. When you wake up and you instantly get ready for work or get ready to um, start your day. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'll just say work. What do you think about that whole time? You're thinking about a lot of things. <sighs> I mean, your mind is racing because you've just been sleeped. You've just been, your mind has just been dormant for um, eight hours, hopefully. And then you wake up, oh, your mind's on 10, ready. Ready to think about everything that's occurring in the world, ready to think about bills that you may have to pay, uh, somebody that may have just recently passed in your life, you, you're thinking about, I mean, whatever. You need that time to gather yourself before you go out in that day because you don't want to go out to the world with all those thoughts just constantly running through your mind which brings me on to number three which is 
be intentional with your thoughts. I didn't even write that down, but that just came out because you do want to be intentional with your, with your thoughts throughout the whole day. Um, you want to be kind to yourself. So your thoughts, you have to retrain your mind. That takes time. It does take time. You know, who, who really catches themselves all the time when they start to having negative thoughts? For myself, I can't say I always do. But I make a, a large effort to make sure that not, uh, bad thoughts don't consume my mind. It's one thing to have a negative thought, but it's one thing to let negative thoughts to completely consume you and then ruin your day, you know? So um, we got that. You know, be intentional with your thoughts. Uh, wake up one hour earlier. Be honest with yourself as you uh, when you wake up about how you feel for that day. Um, another is to listen to music that will put you in a good mood. So, for example, my favorite songs are like Chill or Be Chilled by the Polish Ambassador. Um, it'd be like, and I say, hey, yo, this is such a lovely day, yo, not to stand in my way, yo, I'm beautiful because I say so, okay? Like, how can I not be happy with that type of song played in the morning? Uh, that song or I Got You Always by Chance the Rapper featuring En Vogue and uh, all the other people on that song. That's a good song. I mean, just play. You know what songs that get you hyped in the morning. You know what songs that put you in a good mood. Play those. Don't wake up playing some trap music, some stuff about killing and dying and having your loved ones that died and everything. Like, why would you want to start your day like that? You know what I'm saying? That's once again going into the thoughts. That music is affecting your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Switch it up. Switch it up. You know, gospel music, whatever helps you. Whatever gets you feeling good. Feeling good. Not feeling uh, hype. I will say hype because of the fact you're going to listen to trap music or something like that if you want to get hype. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I have to uh, pull off these. A spider or something is trying to spin a web around me right now and I'm not having it <laughs> okay so we got that uh, music good music to listen to uh, see show up for yourself show up for yourself and no one else okay you you are what matters to you you should be what matters to yourself first before anything and anyone else that's not being selfish that's just being a decent that's that's being a decent human being because when you show up for yourself what can you do show up for others you know you can't uh, like Ayana said Ayana the healer or whatever her name is I'm sorry but you can't pour into other people if you're so back because somebody had called me and the video went off <laughs> so wherever we you're talking about um, showing up for yourself I was saying that you can't pour into anyone else's cup until yours is full meaning the love for yourself um, showing up for yourself uh, recognizing acknowledging yourself and your feelings and your emotions and your being and you know doing things self-care all that pour into yourself so that you are able to pour into others you know affirm yourself number five six whatever number i'm on I'm not, i haven't even kept count but affirm yourself say your affirmations Say the things that will help you get you through your day, that will make you feel good. For example, I have the right to be here on this earth. And we're going to go into more of that, but I have the right to be here on this earth. We, as black and brown men and women, should be saying that every day. I am constantly protected. I'm gonna go into that too. I am constantly protected. I am alive and breathing. Um, everyone who, you know that we keep on saying, or we, uh, everyone keeps posting, I can't breathe because that's what George Floyd's pretty much last words were, right? The power of the tongue is real. It's strong.
it has a power like no other. You know what I'm saying? I will not say it again, but don't say that. Stop saying that. Say that I am alive because you are. Okay? I am grateful for my life. And that's the affirmations that I wrote down. But I mean, those are things that you could just say about yourself that you feel in that moment. I am beautiful. I am intelligent. I am graceful. I am love. I deserve love. I am appreciated. I, res I, I have res um, people respect me because I respect others. Like those are words affirmations. So affirm yourself. Tell yourself about yourself know yourself okay so when you step out in the world in this world you know yourself better than anyone else can ever can ever try to know you or tell you about yourself and tell you who they think you are you know you you know what i mean that's power right there um I'm not sure if i said it already but be kind to yourself not just within your thoughts but I mean, the thoughts have a lot to do with it, but you know how you may say things. Um, hmm. Try to think of an example. For, I'll give you a, a short little example. Like uh, when I was running outside, well, running out here. Oh my God. I was like, oh, I hate running. I had to catch myself after I said that. I was like, okay, I don't hate running. I just dislike the fact of how I can, um, how it's hard for me to breathe and everything like that, and my legs start hurting, you know, this, that, the third. Um, but I'm working on it. That's why I am running, so that I can work on it. So, you know, when you say I hate something or you dislike, you know, something like that, you are putting that out there and then you won't want to do it again or you won't want to try it again or this, that, the third. You have to retrain your thoughts. So that you can be able to accomplish anything, basically. You know? Now let's get into the nitty gritty. The nitty nitty gritty. How you should be going out into the world for real. Right? Because I was just talking about... What I was just talking about is how to get your day started. That's just getting your day started. Very important tip, y'all. But before you walk out that door, you need to cast a shield of protection around yourself okay there are rituals that you can uh, look into I don't perform any rituals um, outside of I mean I wouldn't call them rituals I just say it aloud the power of the tongue I am protected I am covered and when I say that I call on either the universe because this is these are um entities that I believe in that keep me protected and safe. I call on the universe. I call on my ancestors. I call on my angels or archangels. I call on my deities. For a prime example, um, Anubis. Anubis is the protector of the dead. He watches over the dead right i named my pit bull anubis because dogs are meant to protect you right i mean they're meant to be companions but they're also uh, uh i want to feel protected i feel protected when i i had anubis um when i would leave the house uh another example um uh, dirty tags times that I didn't have uh, my tags right, right? There was one time I went out at night and I was literally just going up the street. But, of course, I'm going to, I, what I would do is be like, okay, Anubis is over my car. Anubis is like sitting on top of my car, right? Protecting me, shielding me from harm. Uh, making me invisible, right? Th uh, that night, a police officer rolled up right behind me. And I was like, oh, shh. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. But still, in the back of my mind, I know I casted this shield. You know, you can't cast out that shield and then sit there and have a panic attack once I said, no, I was just like, okay. Because I was also like, I am protected. So if I did get pulled out, the most I'm going to get is a ticket. <laughs> a ticket or, you know, get your car. Yeah, you can't drive it no more or something like that. Get it towed. That's the worst that could happen. But guess what? I knew the consequences of what would happen if I got pulled. <laughs> I knew it. And judge me not uh i mean judge your mama not me because we've all rode with dirty tags before so or if you haven't whatever <laughs> do you know that police officer did not stop me just kept on going and he didn't have anywhere to go it's not like he was like you know just get trying to get somebody else or there was uh, something they were trying to uh somebody's house or anything that they were trying to go to that police, I rode right past that police officer after, cause he got behind me, and then I went to the left, and he kept us straight. That's what I mean. You need to feel protected. You don't go. I wouldn't ever suggest anyone going out into the world with the mentality of not knowing what today will not knowing what your day holds not having any control at all over what your day holds basically now there are things of course out of our control i'm saying at least have the control of your thoughts the control of what you put yourself into you know i sincerely mean that i sincerely feel that um Because what I tell everyone is that you don't know anyone's mental stability or capacity. You don't know the, the people that you're around every day. You don't know them from a can of paint. So act accordingly. Don't go out with a chip on your shoulder ready to anything up or anybody up. That's not going to that's not productive. And that's what can get you killed, harmed, in jail. Come on, we know that little any little thing can set us in there. Act accordingly. You know? Because your home is your safe haven. But the world, we don't know what's out there. We don't know what can come at us that day specifically so you have to train your mind in the way to get yourself prepared for the day i hope i am making so much sense with what i'm saying because it makes sense to me this is what i do you know and do not get me wrong this has been a process of me learning these things wisdom learning from my elders Seeing, looking at what other people do, following the right people, and positive people that do these type of things, you know? And just things I've done on my own. Like, it's just, I just want to feel good and protected throughout my day. Even on my bad days. I'm not gonna let ha I'm not gonna let anyone else have control of my day being bad. It's just the simple fact that there are things going on in the world that are out of my control. That's the most that I probably get mad or upset about, you know? Things that are out of my control, basically. That's it. And now I just feel like I'm repeating myself, but <sighs> those are the tips, y'all. I'm gonna say them one last time. I'm just gonna go through them. Be honest with yourself about how you are feeling that day. Make a conscious effort to wake up one hour earlier than what you normally do to meditate, perform yoga, work out, whatever gets you going. Listen to music that will put you in a good mood. Show up for yourself. Affirm yourself. Be kind to yourself. And as you go out into the world every day, Cast a shield of protection over yourself.
Those are the tips I have for today, y'all. I just want to say that I love each and every one of you. Um, to all my black and brown brothers and sisters, I stand with you. I'm here for you. And we're going to get through just as our ancestors did but we're going to get we're going to be better just, we have a new generation okay that has put the work in we're all putting the work in whether you're a caregiver a healer a disruptor a first responder whatever the case we're here we stand together and we're gonna get through I believe that sincerely so peace and love to each and every one of you I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day Okay.